Okay, so really fast before I get started, I'm not sure how much of a difference it's going to make, but I put some lampshades over the uh, bare light bulbs here. The only one I really made a difference on was um, uh, the only one that was really an issue was on TikTok, but I'm not noticing this starlight pattern on the other videos on the Instagram or the Twitch. Um, so hopefully it does look like it's less light coming down. It still looks like it's pretty lit in this room. So I think we're good. So yeah, uh, also the only reason I'm starting late is because the phone I'm using for TikTok, which of the three, well of my, like my regular phone um, and my old last phone, it gives the best viewpoint at, in portrait mode. But apparently I left TikTok open on it yesterday. And since it is an older phone, the battery doesn't last as long, I guess. Even though they're charged, they're, they're all plugged in except for my, my, my current phone because that doesn't kill the battery sitting down here for an hour playing music and being a live stream. But uh, this one phone just sat on my on my desk or on my what coffee table all day and it came it was it was dead. And I tried plugging it in and turning it on, it just died right away. So I had to let it sit and charge for a while. So we're at 23. 23 percent holding, so hopefully that'll stay or go up actually. Um, so yeah. That's why I'm like because I have a phone charge. I really didn't think it sitting on my on my coffee table not doing anything would have killed the battery overnight. Because it usually doesn't. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I doing? Okay. Alright. Okay, so yeah, I'm late if anybody cares. Also, I'm gonna try my damnedest when I when I do my little when I'm talking when I shouldn't be to stand out here. At least that way I'm in the camera. I tried moving my my camcorder over, but all it did was pick up like you know this stand here uh, and block some of the view. Um, it didn't even change the perspective of me standing over here, you know, when I'm talking here, and you guys can all see me uh, on the live streaming, I'm barely, barely visible on the camcorder over there. So I gotta stand over here, which kind of puts me in the center of these things. At least I'm visible on there. So I also turned the microphone on. I got a, I got a microphone uh, attached to the camcorder, like an exter exterior, external microphone uh, that I, bought and I forgot to use. So hopefully you hear me better. Am I getting likes? I'm getting likes on the wow. That's awesome. Alright, so anyway, gotta oh, move this shit. This out of the way for now, even though we need it later. Alright. So, if anybody's on here who hasn't been following me, I'm just working out very, very, uh, very lightly. My current routine is um, I'm doing like a warm up with the Turbo Jam videos, the lighter Turbo Jam videos, and then I'm doing um, some very lightweight, high rep um, exercises. So. It's, me lifting pur pink and purple weights. That's why. Uh, it's all explained in my fitness journey on my uh, playlist. Yeah, my fitness journey playlist on TikTok. It's all explained on there uh, on how this works. So, anyway, if you want to stick around and watch me embarrass myself doing girly exercises, then by all means, stick around. My fat ass.
hopefully not that ass for long. So um, I'm done talking. I'm already an hour late. So. Tough position, shoulders are back, hands on your hips. Good. 
crunching to the side. Let's go right left. Right, left, and then together. Again, the wider you take your arms, the more intense it is for your abdominals. So be ready for it. Again. Let's go the other way. Let's make those abs nice and flat. Bending to the side really works the obliques. Now, if you need a visual, just imagine that you're about to go into a cartwheel. So you want to bend to the side. Good. Now let's alternate. Go to the right. And together. Now go to your left. Oh, yeah. You feel it? Shoulders are back, right? Tailbone tucked underneath. You're doing awesome. Can you keep going? I know you can. Let's do it again. Right. Left. Right. Other way. Right. Beautiful. Do it again. Right. Left. Right. Come on, tailbone under. You're almost there, baby. Here we go. We're in a row. Big arms. Row. Look, you're rowing a giant canoe. Stay right. Good. Stay right again. Arms. Now I want you to put your sword away. That's it. Powerful warrior. On the way, baby. Get away. Good. Lean back a little bit. Squeeze your glutes. Work those abs. Tighten and tone the midsection. We're going to the right. Now back to your left. And you can feel that in your obliques, your rectus abdominis muscles right down the center of your abs. One more time. Get ready, guys. We're going to punch. Right, left. One, two, three, four. Big leg, lift your hip. All right? Focus on lifting your hip, not your knee. Crosses. Big leg, lift that hip. Nice job. Cut that in half. One, two, lift the hip. Lift. Yeah, if you think about lifting that hip, you are going to tighten up your obliques. Think of the knee as just kind of coming along for the ride. You got it. Come on, baby, last one. Take the back flat. Round it up. Do it again. Flat back. You can do this anytime you need a little break. Flat. Round it up. Last time. Then we're going to cross, starting with your left hand. Left hand, let's go. One, two, three, four. Z, say, lift your hip. Oh. Do you feel it? Lift your hip bone. Bring your hip bone to your rib cage. That's nice. Do it again. Yes. Perfect. Now cut that in half. One, two, lift. One, two. Crunch. Crunch. Look down at your hip. Crunch. There you go. Crunch. Crunch. You feel it? All right. Shake it, shit, baby. Shake it. Oh, nice. This is a great way to really trim your waistline. Don't give it too much fun. Just have fun. Stick it to the music. It'll happen naturally. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Now squat. Down and lift. Down. Got your W over here. Remember that position. Good. This elbow comes behind the hip. Nice. Squeeze. Squeeze. Singles. Down. Up. Up. Now, if you want, you can tap that toe down. When you've got your balance, hold it up. Lift, lift, lift. Want to go the other way? Okay. Down, lift, down, lift. Good. Take a look at your imaginary opponent. Show them how tight your abs are, baby. Show them off. Here we go, singles. Down, lift, lift, lift. Yeah, come on. Balance, baby, balance. We can do it. Hold on to it. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, go. Tight abs. Lift it up, man. And down. Nice job, flat back. Good job. Do that again. That's a nice little spray. The only real problem I have with this video or any of these turbo jam videos is occasionally the instructor messes up. That's it for your standing abs. I want you to grab a mat or a towel. But mistakes burn calories anyway. But like she did, like. Eight of the single, these slower ones on this side, but only seven. We're going to take some of those it exercises bothers. that you did in the standing routine and bring it down to the floor. So go ahead and lay back. Get That's not the only video she messes up. Take your feet shoulders Whatever. apart and your hands, I would say, all right next to your hips. And we're going to begin this exercise from your belly button down and just the tuck. Here we go. Tuck. Tuck and release. Tuck. And release everything we do to modify it. 
So if it doesn't feel right, you can modify by watching Mindy or by watching Honorita. They'll show you how to make the exercises just a little easier until you build the strength you want. Let's crunch. Hands behind the head, making sure that you're not pulling on the neck. Your neck should be relaxed. Your hands are a light touch behind the head. Good. Four more. Two more times. Try to keep your head elevated the whole time. And we'll go right into a single leg stretch. Right leg. And switch. Good. Head is lifted. Shoulders are lifted. Again. Now let's go to singles. Ready? Press that knee away. Adding the resistance is really going to work those abs. Of course, you can put your hands behind your head anytime you need to. Now lock up and do elbows side to side. Another way to make this easier is to take your legs straight up to the sky. The lower you take the legs, the harder it is. Most advanced, arm side to side. Good. Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Go on. Work those abs, baby. Good job. Do four more. Let's go. Four. Good. Three. We can make it. Then we do our leg drops. I love this exercise. Legs all the way up. Drop to one side. We're going to roll up slow and control. Roll back slow. Legs back to center. We're going to do it again. Other side. Roll. Lift. Control is the key. You're going slow and you have total control. And now we bring it up a little bit quicker. Here we go. Up. Touch. Roll back. Center. Drop. Roll up. Roll back. Center. Another set. Come on. Up. Lift, go back, center, over, lift, good, now we go to crunches, guys, here we go, lift, and back, head and shoulders, lift it up off the floor, these are two counts, or singles, now we slow it down just a little bit, up slow, one, two, hold it, hold it, and back, it is never too late to get the abs that you want. It really means just watching your diet, making sure that you're eating healthy food, you're doing your cardio, as well as your ab routine. All right, last one, let's take a little break. Arms reach over your head, legs reach out nice and long. Don't go anywhere though, we're not done. That's just a little stretch, but you can take that anytime you need it. Okay guys, you ready? Walk your hands up the legs. One, two, three, four, now lift the knees. And then slide or walk it back down. Good. Walk it up. Now you're not sitting all the way up. Maybe 35, 45 degrees so that you really feel your abs, not your hip flexors. Okay, do that again. And this time, you can lift the arms as an option. That's more advanced. So you keep the hands behind the knees if you want. Walk it back. Yeah, baby. Can you do it again? Come on. One, two, three, four, and lift. 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 Walk it back. All right, next time we're going to snake it back. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Lift. Lift. And you're wondering what the snake is? We'll show you. Ready, guys? Oh, yeah. Come on, walk it up. Hey, hey, hey. Hooky. Hook. Snake it back. All right, guys, stay here. Bring the knees all the way up, hands behind your head. And I want you to bend it to the right. Bend to the left. Good, now go to singles. Here we go. Side, side. Head and shoulders are elevated. Remember, you're bringing your heels toward the elbows. Your knees and the lower leg are sealed together. And lift, and lift. Come on, bend to the side. Okay, don't go anywhere. Stay on one side only. Tuck, tight. You're bringing your heels towards your elbow. You feel that? Oh my gosh, right there in the obliques, baby doll. Switch and go the other side. Hang on, you're almost home. Do it. Lift, lift, big obliques. Big tight flat abs. Oh yeah, you made it. Stretch it out, arms overhead. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, you're gonna feel that tomorrow. Good job, guys, stretch it out. Okay, guys, let's bring the feet in. Shoulder distance apart. And we're going to start with cross punches, just like we do in our turbo gym workout. A little cross punches and then a zigzag. Not all the way up. One, two, three, four, and back. 
back. Okay, join me. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Small zigzag. Try to keep your head and shoulders up. Crossing and zigzag. Do it again. You can keep hands behind your neck if you need to. Just like that. Small crosses across. Now the same thing, but let's lift up a little higher. One, two, three, four, and back. Or you can stay where you are. Just like Mindy and Anna Reed are showing you today. Working those abs, stop bringing the shoulders up off the floor. One more time. Good, now the right knee is lifted. Let's go across, across and back. Hold the knee steady and lift by leaning with your shoulder, not your elbow. That's a cue that will really help you focus on the obliques as opposed to doing just the elbow cross. Hey, I know what cheating looks like, guys. Now lift to the center, crunch. Lift. Good. Head and shoulders stay up. Get that tailbone tucked up underneath. Other side, left knee now. Across with your shoulder. Let the elbow follow behind. Lift. Yeah, baby. All right, back to center. Crunch. Oh. There it is. Make sure that the abs are nice and flat. Tailbone tucked underneath. Belly button in. Give me four more. Four. Nice. Three. Keep it tight. Two. Nice. Now we're gonna go right and left. Right and lift the opposite knee. How's that feel? You got a little bit of a burn going on yet? Okay. Give me four more. Two more. That's nice. All right, feet together. And we're gonna tuck elbows in. Tuck. Good. Crunch. Bring your elbows to touch the inside of the knees. Oh, that works. Lift your hips up off the floor. Lift. Almost there. Lift. Come on, two more. Last one. Good. Hands behind the knees. Roll all the way up. Face me. Hi. All right, guys. Now toes on the floor if you want to keep this nice and simple. Fingertips to the side. We go to the right. Right and center. Left and center now. I want you to lean back slightly. So you are behind those two bones, which we call the six bones, and you're on the fleshy part of your hips. Back on the derriere. Nice. Now we're going to do this with a little pulse to the right. Then center. Good. To the left. And center. Take a break if you need to, or keep going. Side. Center. Good. Do it again. Left. Center. Oh, can we do one more set? Can you do it? Stay with us. You're doing awesome. It's going to pay off. I promise you that. You're going to have nice flat abs. A six pack to show off in your bathing suit. Hold it. Last set. Come on, guys. You can do it. Hang in the last one. Back to center. Hands behind your knees. Round back and away. Lift all the way up. Swing your legs around. Come all the way down to your hips. Okay, now just press up, stretching the abs, or all the way up into up dog. Oh my gosh, that feels so dang good. Shoulders are. Okay, so again, Austin, that's not my ab workout. I use that for a warm up, but it is partially my ab workout because it is an ab workout. Um, for those of you who are actually in pretty good shape and do a lot of crunches and whatever else, uh, it's probably not a good ab workout for you. However, it's definitely a good ab workout for somebody who's shaped like me or even in better shape, you know. And any of these exercise videos, any I'll, I'll reiterate this many times. Uh, see, I'm standing in the wrong spot again. <laughs> uh, all of these, I don't care what you're doing, except maybe like insanity and this, you know, those super super extreme ones. Uh, even then, you can modify them for yourself. They always have somebody in there who's doing a modified version, um, or they have easy ones and somebody's doing an intense version. So, um, you can make whatever workout video works for you. So, if all you have room for is workout videos, this is not a big room. 
This is not a big room. Uh, my living room is like 13 by 14. It's a small room. And it goes from, I mean, here's, I'll put my arm here. I don't know if you can see it still. But I'm touching the wall, the back, the back wall. It's not that far. In my living room, I mean, it goes to about where the stairs are here. It's not, it's not big. And I don't have a lot of room. So, talking to the girl cuts my hair. I guess I'm my hairdresser because I don't go to a barber. Um, she goes, we really don't have room for it. I'm like, you don't need room. <clears throat> All you really need is enough. <laughs> it's just like this, this amount of space, unless you've got all this equipment, you know. But to do basic workouts, all you need is a few dumbbells and a, maybe an exercise video or two. That's all you really need. Um, but some people prefer to go to the gym. Some people prefer to work at home. I prefer to work out at home. Not because I'm scared of the gym. Not just because... I never go. Then again, obviously, I never come down here either. But it's easier to come down here than it is to go to the gym. I don't need the other people and the lights and all the fancy, fancy equipment to make me want to go. It's just I don't like going because if I don't leave on time, I'm very bad at procrastinating like I'm doing right now. Uh, if I don't leave on time and I'm standing in the wrong spot again, i got to move this thing. My clipboard is over here, so I always want to stand over here. Um, but there, maybe I'll stand over here. Um, if I don't get up in time, I don't leave in time, if I don't get home from work in time to get there before they close, whatever the reason is, I just get going, then I get off my routine. If something happens like today, where I have the time, because uh, I make sure I get up early enough, and right now my schedule is whatever the hell I want it to be, uh, I just push my start time back an hour. I, didn't have to, I don't even have to have a start time, except I, I make sure I do to make sure I leave the house. So I wanted to be out here at 9 o'clock. My phone was messed up. I wanted to make sure I live stream consistently on all the platforms. So I had to let the phone charge, so I started an hour late. If I was going to go to the gym, me starting an hour late, waking up late, whatever, I'd be like, nope, can't go today. i got to start working. i got to do this. got to do that. At least this way, I don't have to drive to the gym. I don't have to get changed at the gym. I don't have my own. always have to get changed. But you know what I mean. I don't have to do all this extra stuff to get there. I like it this way. Uh, once, every so often, my son comes down. He wanted to get back into shape, better shape, because he's skinny. can't gain weight. He wanted to get in better shape for what they were doing in high school. you know. So I put him on my last routine, which is this routine but more intensified and he gained about five pounds of muscle in two three months so which is something he was never able to do you know and doing high school workouts didn't help him. so I worked out gym with partners as well so uh, anyway that's it I, I'm done chit chat there's no point in me talking um, I'm wasting my time killing my killing my warm-up uh, let's turn on some music. Put my hand in your face Instagram because that's my regular phone that has the music playing. Put the Bluetooth speaker back on. chit-chat stuff until afterwards. Uh, so anyway, today we're doing abs, back, and there we go, staying in the wrong spot again. Uh, abs, back, and biceps. So that was partially the ab workout. I have three other workouts to do and basically I'm doing regular planks, side planks, so oblique planks, and a mason or oblique twist. 
at, at the end. So those are my three personalized ab workouts for the day. And then we'll move on to the weights. Uh, anyway, for the planks, last week I did 30 seconds each side. Um, and it looks like I'm staying at 30 seconds. But like I said, that workout itself isn't a bad workout to do for abs. So. I got my handy dandy wall clock here. Anyway, I know it's not a long time, but I used to still go a lot longer. All right, so I'm going to move the regular planks up to 45 seconds for next time. Again, with zero weight. I can write this down properly. There we go. All right, so 30 seconds on the side planks. I'm going to keep writing down wrong. Keep that one the same. All right, and then the twist. I forgot about the twist. Can't seem to find the right spot on that music. I think it was this one. This one. Alright. So I did 10, which is 1, 2, so it's both sides of 1. Uh, I'm doing 15 this time.
Okay, I can definitely do more than that, but... We did 15, I'm doing 20 of those next time, so... Uh, I gotta keep losing myself. It's just like, I... Ah, camera position for fucking... Yeah, that's really bad. Maybe. I don't know. I just have to make sure I just step, take a step back. Alright, so we're moving on to back, so I'm going to use the machine here, flat pull down machine, uh, for behind the neck pull downs. And put my glasses on. Alright, so last week we did 20 pounds. I silenced that. I swear I silenced that. Alright, last week, see. All right, so last week we did 20 pounds. Everything's 30 reps, by the way, as far as the, if you're not following along. Everything is, uh, Assuming you mean the, the ab workout. Uh, so 20 pounds, uh, 30 reps. Everything is 30 reps if you haven't been following me along. Except for the abs. The abs are going to be set up a little bit different, but as far as the muscle work goes, it's 30 reps, one set of 30. So 20 pounds, I put a double plus on this one. So uh, instead of just going up five pounds um, on this one, uh, I'm going to treat it like I do the legs. So we're going to go five pounds per side, which is what I do with the legs, two to three pounds per arm. Even though it's the back, probably why. So if we're gonna go from 20, we're gonna go to 30. Um, and I currently have 15 pounds on there with a 15 pound weight. I've got two fives there, and I got two two and a half at the least. Even though I can probably pull those 15 or seven and a half off.
Now, if you're doing like really heavy weights and you're struggling to get them, but that's that's the whole thing. You got you got to if it's here, if it's back here, you got to make sure you hit the same spot every time with this little like extra momentum help to do it. Like you don't want to get up and go oh, pull that down. I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, or like the tricep push downs, or even your barbell curls. If you're curling up to here, you need to curl up to here and avoid doing this as much as possible. If your last one to get that up, you have to do that. That's fine. Last two, last one or two, that's fine. But if you're doing this for the whole time, you're not doing anything. You're not, you're not benefiting yourself. So I always make sure that I make sure that I can touch the same spot every time with those lap pull downs. And it was really hard to do on that resistance machine because it changes. The problem with the resistance machine is that it changes how much you're pulling. You're up here, it's like nothing. When you get down to here, those bars start to bend more and it's more and more, it's like a rubber band. The farther you pull it out, the harder it is. It's exactly what that is. So it's hard to make sure I had it right every time. That's why I got this machine to use the weights. Um, doesn't do it that time. Alright, so we did 30 pounds and I, I'm going to go up again. We're going to make that 35 next time. Um, Alright, so seated row, so we're on the bottom of the machine there. And I did 20 pounds last time and it looks like I just got one, we're going to 25 this time. Make sure I stand over here. Not over there, over here. This is, ah. I'm going to get this coordination down. I'm not used to being on camera. Camera, 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 camera. This one I would like to move over here. Maybe. I'm going to, I'm going to try getting another one of these little mini stands from Bible. Oh, by the way, um, I know you really can't see it. It's kind of hard, but uh, I don't know who you should I get all these little, um, little mini tripods. Show Instagram there. I'll, and I'll show Twitter. I'm pretty sure everybody has something like this. But these are five dollars at um, at five below. I had one for a while. I bought two more. They're, they're pretty nice. I gotta get back on the So. Anyway, if you've watched my video before, let me know if this lighting looks a lot better to you than it did before, or if it even makes a difference. Um, so maybe I'll get one more of those little tiny tripods, put the camcorder on it, and put it up here with the Instagram uh, display, and then maybe I will have everything like right where I want it. I don't know. So. Okay, seated rows, we did 20 pounds last time, we're doing 25 this time. So I just gotta take the two and a half off. Okay, let's
Alright, so that was 25 pounds, and I'm going to go up to 30 for the next time. Alright, so supported row or bent over row. Bent. You don't need a bench to do this. You could actually lean over this way. Do it that way. But it's you got a bench, it makes it easier. It makes it easier to isolate the muscle that you want to work. You don't want your workout to be easier. But anything you can do to isolate the muscle better is a good thing. This way it seems like you know you're more trying to balance yourself. Um, my opinion. But anyway, we did five pounds last time. Uh, this is a single arm exercise. Uh, we're going to go up to eight this time. Just need one weight. I always start with my right arm. I don't know if I'm from right handed. Possibly, possibly one. So, and it's just like. that extra little like you know stretch at the bottom here as opposed to just sitting like this adds a little little extra to the to the exercise. I, I feel it. I feel a little more in there where you're supposed to by doing so. So let's just start starting here. Like, when I start here, I feel like I'm just doing a tricep exercise. Here, hold the back one more.
I've seen some people do it with the bench a little higher. You obviously can't really do it, you know, do it lower as you can, but anyway, we did three pounds uh, last week. We're going to five this time. Now here's the issue I have uh, doing bike. Uh, I messed my elbow up doing like upright rows and stuff. Last week I felt a little after doing the incline curls for some reason. Um, this super tight at the end here. I can feel my elbow like yeah. So I'm keeping the weight lighter than I kind of want to be because I don't want to mess up my elbow again and have to stop working out completely and not lose this stuff. So, so we're going five pounds. So basically, you don't want to do a hammer curl. You can do a regular straight curl. Um, I just kind of, I kind of do a twist. They come up straight in the end, so it's kind of a half hammer, half straight curl. So I think I can safely go up to uh, the eights next time on that one. And again, I can do the eights, it's just I want to make sure, I, I do, that one kind of irritates my elbow a bit, I don't want to destroy that. So we can go up to eight next time. Uh, single arm concentration curls basically sit down and then just kind of put your hand between your leg here and then just kind of like completely isolating your, your arm as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and put this back down flat. I'm going to need my uh, half raise step because I'm short. And we did three pounds, we're going to five this time on that one. Now this is a single arm exercise as well. But you can probably, you can probably do it like this with both arms if you want to. 
I, I prefer focusing more on one just to make sure I can keep it as isolated as possible as opposed to trying to do both of them and making sure I'm, you know, anyway. Plus, when you get into more sets, doing alternating arms, uh, kind of just go ahead and gives you your rest break right there with the other arm. You do 10, 10, you got your rest. You know? Yeah, five pounds, 30 reps. We're gonna go up to the eight next time on that as well. Uh, preacher curls, I gotta set the machine up. There, set the attachment up to the bench for that. For the preachers and the reverse curls. So, um, yeah, so 10 pounds on that. Now, reverse curls are basically a forearm exercise, mostly forearms. Uh, so, preacher curls this way, first curls that way, right here. So, uh, so I need 15 pounds here. Two and a half pounds per arm. Now this song sounds a lot quieter. Maybe it's ending, I don't know. It's probably ending. No, it's just quieter. Wow. Oh. And it's been an hour. I'm talking too much because Instagram turned off. And 
restart Instagram. I shouldn't have to do that. I need to stop talking as much in between exercises. There's absolutely no reason the workout that I'm doing right now should take longer than 45, 50 minutes. That includes my uh, warm-up exercise video. So anyway, 15 pounds on there. Uh, preacher curl. I think I can go up to 20 on that. Started to feel a nice, a nice burn there at the end. So, yeah, we'll go up to 20 on that next time. Now, reverse curls, I, 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 I put a plus here, but I thought I was going to keep it the same, so I kept stopping in between, but... Do the chart test. So we're going to go 15 on reverse curls. Then we're done. That's how I'm going to keep that at 15 for next week. Ready, splash there. That's it. Fingers in your face, Instagram, so I can turn off my music. Okay. Alright, so that's the first time I overdid my time and turned Instagram back on. I don't know if anybody watches the Instagram. I'll see occasional somebody join, but I don't know how that works. So. Alright, so. The other habit I gotta make sure I keep doing is cleaning up when I'm done, because that's a bad habit. I'll just be like, nope, I'm done, I'm tired. I go back upstairs and come down next morning, get ready, and I spend 15 minutes cleaning everything. Well, 15 minutes cleaning and probably setting up for the next day, that day. So.
leg day part two. I'm going to put the bench over here because I don't think I need the bench tomorrow. It's all legs. I don't know if I need the bench tomorrow or not. Either way, I need it out of the way to do my warm up. And I know I start with squats and I'm standing in the wrong spot again. Okay. There we go. So front squats, cable kickback, everything. Yeah, no, I don't need the bench at all. I got front squats. I got the resistance machine for the cable kickbacks and the abductor adductors. Uh, I need the bench for the barbell hip raises, but that's it. And then donkey calf raises, but yeah. So all I got to do is pull that out. It's that. So I feel I talked too much this workout, which I did. Um, probably because I was irritated about starting late, so I bent in other ways. Anyway, so uh, end it with my little spiel. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, which I have no viewers on Twitch today. Uh, I do got two followers on Twitch, and I know it's from this because that's the only thing I do on Twitch. Uh, anyway, all the same username. So whatever username you're looking at, on whatever app you're looking at, that's the same username all across the board. Uh, but as far as keeping updated with me, if you want to, if you have comments, questions, concerns, you want advice, you want to give advice, it's a little spiel, uh, please direct them to my TikTok. Uh, there is a playlist called Fitness Journey. Uh, as of right now, this is the first playlist you see when you kind of look at my videos. Right there is the last playlist I made. So it's front and center. Uh, you can direct them to the last video or whatever video you want to comment on. You can use the Q&A feature and I can respond with video replies. Uh, it's the easiest way of doing that. Uh, then I can upload those to YouTube as well for on the shorts or whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm done. Um, Bye-bye.